to this holiday. Like zoinks! We're like ready to go down and start our cosplays and do all the regular con stuff. You shouldn't give under Aren't we? Anyone, but for those you do, you <laughs> What's up, guys? Why'd you look so weirded out for? You it's like you don't want to get the camera on you or something. We're going down. We're yelling timber. Is that what they say in the song? Yeah. It's oh. timber. That makes sense. Ahaha! Uh -huh. That moment when you're dumb. I don't listen to the song. Oh, are you filming right now? Yeah. That was while I was a kid, so we can go back and grab that speaker. Nature, are you ready? You didn't even eat it? It's up to you. Let's grab it. Alright, we're heading down. Bye. We're getting pictures taken of us already. Fame. We're famous. Ooh. We're on the famous level. Uh. <laughs> Me and the lady are playing Left for Dead. She's going to take a picture of me vlogging. Oh, you're so cute. Well, thank you. It's like you keep moving. Stop moving. Mm. <laughs> I went like this. I went, mm. We're going to play that for Dead 2. I didn't realize it was 2. One of the few first person shooters I actually like. Do not let this pretty weather fool you. It is actually really cold out here. It's not that cold. It's, it was worse earlier. Oh, it's worse when the wind hits you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What'd you do? Let's go inside. <laughs> <laughs> Is it she, the Marilyn Monroe? <laughs> so right now, we're just kind of killing time. Nothing it starts at 3. At 3 is the Vic Mignogna panel that I really, really want to go to. So we got to get in line by like 2.15. Right now it's like 12.30. So we don't really have anything going on until then. And then after the Vic panel, we'll probably, probably go around and then... The rest of the day is going to go thus far. Vic panel. Get in line for Ooh. the... Uh, what is it? What am I doing? Uh, okay. We're going to get in line for the Vic panel. After the Vic panel, we're going to uh, walk around for a little bit and get in line for the... Oh, sorry. I just had a lot of soda. Uh, get in line for the... Uh, what you call it? Masquerade cosplay contest. Do that. And then after that, we have until 9... And then we got the Beats for Villains concert. And then the, and then after that, we got the rave. I doubt we'll stay the whole time. I'll stay longer than I did last night, but I didn't even stay as long as I did last night. We're gonna get some footage, we'll dance. And then we're gonna hit up some 18 plus panels. We're going up on Tuesday. Oh, hey, you sound just like Dakota. That's me. I'm oh. Dakota. Well, not to you. To you, I'm Jimmy. Like zoinks. Like zoinks. <laughs> Go all the way out there. Somewhere on this. Four. 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 Oh, is that a ruby shoe? What? Oh, he's here. I can never remember his name. But he's always he, he always comes to the con and plays uh, sings Japanese acoustic versions of anime songs. Openings, I should say. Here we are. Hello. Hi. Oh, I like your outfit. Thank you. Get a straight shot all the way down to the bottom. We did. I don't think that's ever happened to me. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, no. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Can you turn me into one of those guys that Cody hates? All right, big minion panel getting ready. They're letting the people in. Yeah, they are. They are. What do you think, Xavier? I don't care. I purposefully asked the uh, the guy to give me an extra long mic cable. Yeah. So just keep coming. 
closer and closer and closer. And my voice is way back there, but my body is here. This is strange. Wintry, hi. Has anyone seen my big brother? In some small part of your lives, and you're, you know, when, every, whenever, when everybody comes up to me and goes, you were the voice of my childhood. <laughs> like, thank you. Um, I never imagined anyone would say that to me. Because I've met people who were the voice of my childhood. And uh, I never imagined that I would, you know, that I would be doing this so long. When we started voice acting for anime, you guys, um, it was a much smaller industry. And there, the people that were involved were like me, and Monica Rial, and Chris Patton, and uh, the people that were making DBZ, because of course they've been doing that since the Stone Age. That's, that's like been going on for a long time. Chris Sabat and, and all those guys. And uh, when, we, when we started, I, I didn't even really know anything about the industry. I, a friend of mine said to me, hey, you have a lot of acting experience. Do you want to come and audition for this little company in town? Literally, tiny little studio, probably about as big as this area up here, that had a couple of VCRs and some recording machines, and they were anime fans. And they just wanted to make anime available to English-speaking audiences. So they would buy these anime titles, and at the time, nobody really knew anything about them. Like, can you even imagine that there was a time that nobody knew anything about Evangelion? You know, now it's like, oh, like one of the, you know, one of the foundational pieces of anime. But, but at the time, you know, they were able to get these shows for next to nothing because nobody really thought about dubbing them into English or that there would be a market for it. And so ADV was doing this in Houston and I went auditioned and I, I got cast as Vega in Street Fighter II. And I, I did my little part and I went home and I thought, well, that was a fun weird little one-time thing to do. And I went back to writing music and, and doing film production. And then a few weeks later, they called me back and they said, hey, we have another show. Do you want to come and be in it? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> what do you guys do with this stuff anyway? I didn't even know. Do they sell it? Do they, you know, I mean, do they put it somewhere? I didn't know. But um, I never imagined in my wildest dreams that it would continue for so long and grow how it is to, to the degree that it has grown and allow me the privilege, and I mean privilege, to meet so many wonderful people and to know you guys and to interact with you. It has been like the favorite gift, blessing of my life. So if you guys think you're kind of insignificant sometimes, you're sitting around your room and feeling kind of down, just know that there's a puffy blonde haired guy somewhere. <laughs> who thinks you're awesome, okay? And, uh, and, and wants you to know how much joy you brought to my life.